Hey guys, so this morning I woke up and I saw on the Discord chat, uh, which is from the Patreons and Galactic Course uh, access, that Justin posted a link to download a, uh, the version 2 of Starnet, which I believe is available since, uh, let's see here, January 24, so just this week. So uh, apparently version 2 has a bunch of, uh, well, has a, a few new features and it just does a much better job overall to remove stars. As you can see on this forum here, there are people who post uh, some comparison of before and after, I mean version 1 and version 2. So as you can see on top here is version 1 and on the bottom is version 2. Uh, so you can, I have a link below if you want to check it out, but um, there are a bunch of, of different uh, comparison pictures. So I'm going to show you how to install uh, this new version onto your computer and make it work with Pixinsight. Insight. So, at the end of this video, I will have also uh, a few issues that I run into and how to fix them. So the first thing you want to do is, from this forum post, click on this link here and download the, uh, the file. So either for Mac or for Windows. For me, it's for Mac. So I downloaded this earlier. And we have the file right here. So the next thing you want to do is to make sure you have the latest version of PixInsight. So, uh, you cannot check this from PixInsight itself. You have to uh, actually uh, go into uh, the, the PixInsight website and from there check the latest version. So make sure you download the latest version uh, or else you might have issues with this uh, version 2 of Starnet. Once this is done, make sure uh, to open up the file. So we have all the, uh, the files here and actually look at the readme uh, file which tells you how to install the, uh, the file. So the first thing you want to do is close PixInsight. So I'm going to go ahead and close PixInsight. So step number two is to copy those files from the Starnet folder into the PixInsight bin folder. So I am currently in the PixInsight bin folder, uh, which you can access from your application folder. And so one thing you want to do before that, I don't think it, uh, it's included in the readme, is to open up this little lib uh, folder here and copy this file into the lib folder of PixInsight. Uh, this was not mentioned in the uh, readme and so I had an issue. So make sure you actually copy that into the lib folder first. And then uh, the other files which is uh, those dylib folders, uh, files, uh, I don't know if the license one is important or not, but just to be sure I just include it anyway. Those ones you can drag into the bin folder. It will tell you if you want to replace or not. You can replace all of them. And once you have those in here, you will want to open up PixInsight. Yes, run PI. So I'm going to go ahead and run PixInsight. Uh, PixInsight. And here you probably will have right away an automatic update uh, window. Uh, so you can accept that. Uh, it will actually detect uh, Starnet's new files in the bin folder. So once you update uh, those automatic files, you should be able to see uh, the Starnet v v2 in the process folder. So if you go here, process, all processes, let's go down to Starnet. And here we have both the first Starnet and Starnet 2, as you can see here. Uh, if you don't have this, uh, you have to go into process modules, install modules, and just click on search right away. Uh, for me, since it's already installed, it says zero. But if you didn't have the automatic install window, uh, you will see Starnet in this list and just click on Starnet and then click on install. And that was pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so that was it. You can just access Starnet now from here. And so the new things about Starnet 2 is, first of all, they removed some of the stride numbers because it was just so confusing and kind of useless. So now you only have 256 and 128. Um, the, it is recommended that you keep 256 by default, uh, which works the best usually almost any time. And then you have three um, checkboxes here. One is to create a star mask like last time. Uh, so this will create a star mask on top of removing the stars, which is really great, but that is not new. So what's new here is the two times upsample. Apparently, if you click this and you have a, a drizzled file or upsampled up file, uh, it will work better. Um, so if you click this, it will actually upsample it beforehand, 
before applying the uh, the star removal and then it will uh, remove the stars which apparently works better uh, and then linear data now you can run starnet on linear files so before stretching them so what this will do is it will apply a quick stf and then remove the files and then um, get back to the non-stf file so i don't think i will personally use that uh, i will just keep using starnet when it's a non-linear phase so um, but this is if you want to remove stars before uh, stretching and okay, so we have a file here, the Wizard Nebula. So I'm going to apply Starnet on this file and see what happens uh, to remove all the stars. I know for a fact I was trying Starnet 1 with this exact same file earlier and it was a complete mess. Uh, so I'm going to hope that this one will work on this file, but I know for sure this is a difficult file to work with because Starnet number 1 was unable to remove uh, the stars properly. So let's see here and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so we have the uh, new file here. As you can see, there are still some artifacts uh, for the bright stars, but wow, I, I wish I could show you uh, the, the version with Starnet 1, uh, but this is much better, much, much better than what I was able to achieve with Starnet 1. Um, I, I'll check if I can have a, a comparison picture here, but if not, my bad, I can't. Uh, I just know, I don't know if I kept the files from Starnet 1, uh, but this is much better. Um, those Artifacts here are easy removal with um, with the clone stamp tool, uh, but overall it looks amazing. Uh, that's a really good job. Okay, so I hope this was useful for you guys. Uh, I did run into three issues when trying to install this earlier. Uh, number one is if you are if you have an error message when trying to search for the module, uh, go ahead and go back to the actual files in the bin folder and right click on each file and click on open for each of them and you have to um, kind of bypass the safety feature of the mac or maybe as well windows uh, when downloading files from a uh, unchecked source like for example sourceforge so click on uh, right click and then click on open and then confirm that you want to open the file uh, it will not actually open it, those files it will just uh, mark them as safe and then once you're in PixInsight, the files should appear because they are now safe. Issue number two, if you are, if you also have a, an error message when trying to install Starnet, it might be because your uh, PixInsight version is too old. So once again, make sure you have the updated PixInsight version. Uh, this one right here is, let me show you really quick. Uh, it is version 1.8.8.12. Uh, and then lastly, if you have another yet uh, yet another uh, error message when trying to now uh, apply the standard to to an image, this is because your weights files your wave file is not properly uh, placed in the lib folder. So make sure this file right here is in the lib folder, as you can see here. And uh, hopefully this helps. So I'll see you guys next time, and happy star removal. Yes, guys.